This is Dr. Critty from Westlake Plastic Surgery, and I'm in Austin, Texas. It is July of 2011, and today I want to kind of give you a little overview of uh, cohesive versus saline implants, in other words, silicone versus saline, uh, saline implants, and what that's all about. So if you can focus in here a little bit on these implants, that'll be helpful. What I've done is I've removed these implants from a patient, so I'm going to just show you what these are all about. I actually took a scissor and cut into this implant here. This is a silicone in, uh, implant, and this here is a saline implant. So this one here has saline fluid. They have similar shells on the outside. This is a silicone implant, uh, a silicone shell, and this is a uh, silicone shell on the outside of this implant. So you can see when you cut into this implant, that's the silicone material here. That's it's the same as on the outside, it's just polymerized a little bit differently. And as you can also see, it doesn't pour out. It actually cuts like a, a piece of pie, if you will, but it doesn't flow out. The difference would be, for instance, if you look at a saline implant, you cut a saline implant and it just leaks everywhere. Well, it's just fine because it's just salt water and that'll go into your system and get absorbed. Silicone implant, if you cut into that implant with this scissor, um, that's pretty much what you get there. This is what they call cohesive. It doesn't flow per se. Um, the outer shell is firmer. The inner material is more viscous, but it's still it's not a flow. It doesn't flow out like this implant. Um, so, for instance, you could tell it's harder to know that this implant would be ruptured, whereas this is real easy. Once you cut this implant, it deflates and this fluid gets absorbed and your breast immediately gets smaller. Whereas with a silicone implant, if this is ruptured or cut or wears out for any reason, or fails as we call it, the implant generally will stay in the same shape. Your breast might not change that much at all. The Probably the biggest two uh, clinical signs of a rupture may be uh, a firmness in the breast that hadn't been there previously or maybe some associated pain. So anyway, I hope that this helps illustrate the difference between uh, silicone and saline implants and the uh, idea of cohesive implants or what we would refer to or what you refer to as gummy bear implants. I hope this uh, helps a lot folks. Thank you.